Hey, it's actually the next morning. I was editing my video and I found that it didn't have an intro. I don't know what happened to the intro. So here's the intro. Welcome to today's vlog. We're doing busy stuff today. I had to go to Target. I had to go to Audi's and I was going to go to my cousin's hair, cousin's house to do her hair, but I didn't. And I have to go find a new dress for her sweet 16. So that was the intro that completely got cut off. So I apologize. Welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna be doing her hair um, because I'm doing her hair this weekend and I just need to like look at everything and see what I need to do. Um, and then I'm actually going, I have to go dress shopping because the dress I picked out for her party is absolutely terrible. I don't like it. So now I have to go and get the dress. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. Um, I don't have Lily, but I definitely have to pick up Ollie by 4.30. So we're going out to get food right now. I haven't done my like monthly shopping yet. And we're already like halfway through the month. So I have to go hurry up, get that. So I'm going to Audi's and then Target. Um, I'm thinking of going to the mall real quick while I'm up near Audi's um, and then head back down to finish shopping at Target. And if I have any time, um, just bring everything home and put it away. If not, then I'm just gonna pick up Ollie and come home. Um, if we're near the 3.30 window, that's when I'll go and pick up Ollie because he um, has to nap until 2.30 and then they do snack time and stuff. So I'm not gonna pick him up until after 3.30. So if it's around that time, I'm just gonna grab him. I still have to figure out dinner. Chaos, guys, chaos. I am like kind of all over the place. Um, and I know it's gonna be really nice this weekend. So I wanna pick up some stuff to like clean my car or just like restock my car because it's a hot mess in there. I have no diapers, no wipes. I need more sanitizer. I need to just clean out my car. It's disgusting. So be on the lookout for that in a vlog or just in an individual video I'm doing, trying to figure it out. Um, but yeah, I really need to get going. Um, I'm waiting for Anthony to get, come, like I said, and then I'm gonna hurry up and go. Um, I don't. I don't like recording while I'm out, so I'll show you guys a haul when I get home of like everything that I buy, um, and I'll show you like the dress shopping process. Um, if I can't get to it while we're out today, then I'm gonna have to do it tonight um, after I'm done doing her hair, so it'll be a very long day for me, um, but that's okay because I just really need to get this done. After a very eventful day, I'm finally home. We went to Audi's Target and we went to Boss Cabs. I couldn't find anything there. I tried looking on Amazon and Old Navy for a dress. I think I might actually have to go to the mall sometime this week and pick out an outfit um, because I'm struggling to find something for this, this party. Um, I did buy a dress off of Amazon and it's just not fitting well. It just looks frumpy, like it looks terrible. So I have to find something and I couldn't find something today. So um, I'm gonna do like a grocery haul real quick once I get everything out of the baskets and put onto the table. And I'm gonna shove everything into the fridge because I really don't have time to like set it up. It's already 3.30. I've been out, of, like me and Anthony left at around 11.30. It takes forever to get anywhere in the city. Everything's always like backed up around this time. So by the time we got to Target, it was already like two o'clock. We got out of there almost at three and then we just went and picked up Ollie and then took us like 30 minutes to get here so <sighs> it's been all day of driving and we only went to three places <laughs> uh so yeah I'm gonna hurry up and show you the grocery haul I have a crap ton of laundry to fold I still have to clean my house I'm just like exhausted already do you guys like feel like this as working moms do you feel like you're totally overwhelmed when it comes to like having to shove everything into two days? I was off today, so luckily I was able to get like my food shopping done because I had such a busy weekend. I didn't even have time to go food shopping. <sighs> you other working moms, do you feel the same way? Do you ha feel like there's just not enough time to get everything done? Because I've been really struggling lately. Like since I came back to work after the pandemic, I feel like I could not get a grip on like figuring stuff out, no matter how much I plan it or how much I try to stay organized, I feel like I'm just not able to get to everything and there's just not enough time. I feel like I just can't, 
I'm just like so drained by the end of the week. And then like Saturday and Sunday, like I, I have to visit family and like there's a million freaking parties going on right now um, to fit in cleaning and going grocery shopping and doing all the laundry and just trying to get everything done. I'm feeling super overwhelmed and I've been feeling this for a while now, uh, but I feel like I used to have it together, especially when Ollie was like really young when I went back to work. Um, I didn't have this much heart, like this hard of a time, but I feel like I took advantage of like being off for like a year and a half during the pandemic because I was able to get things done every single day instead of trying to rush around on the weekends trying to get it done. Really, food shopping just takes me so much time and to get it like all prepped and into the fridge, it takes me hours. <sighs> Give me your wisdom. <laughs> because I just cannot get it together and I feel like I should be spending more time with my kids on the weekend instead of trying to do all these chores. I just can't find the energy to do this stuff and then it gets loaded onto the week and then I'm overtired from the week from doing it instead of doing it on the weekend. So yeah, it's just like a never ending circle with me um, and I'm really trying to do better. So if you could give me some tips or tricks Leave them down below. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be emptying out this and show you guys everything that we got. Um, to be honest, I should have did a better job at like doing the list and I allowed Anthony to do it, which was a terrible idea because I feel like we're missing a lot of like the bulk items that I normally buy during the beginning of the month. Um, but we got sodas and waters and stuff like that. But as of like fridge items, there's nothing really in there. Um, and they didn't have the creamer I normally buy, so I bought a different one. All right, so here is the haul. I do have some sodas and stuff that aren't on the table. So this side is like all Aldi's. Um, bananas, spinach, eggs, tortillas for chicken finger wraps, ribs. I can't believe we got like a whole thing of ribs for only $12.30. They were having a huge sale, so ribs. Black beans, cream of chicken, corn, Anthony's pretty much a protein bar a day. So those, these little snack packs, they have different varieties so we like to pick those up. Apples, M&M, ice cream cones, and then body armor. Um, Anthony picked up some granola, cheddar cheese, and double stuffed Oreos for Ollie. And then the rest of this is from Target. So Cool Whip, yogurt, this is like, we call it butterfly papa, hot stuff for Ollie. Um, shredded lettuce, we got some cinnamon buns for Anthony. Also more of these protein bars in different varieties. Some broccoli, some peas, some hot dogs are a must. Ice cream, Velveeta mac and cheese, some granola bars, some more Velveeta mac and cheese, but like cup form for Lily. Um, yogurts for Ollie and Lily, yogurt for Anthony, um, crispy chicken fingers, we just throw this in the air fryer, um, tomatoes, and then we found these stuffed puffs. We're probably going to end up eating these tonight, right? What is it? The stuffed marshmallows? Yeah. Yeah. We got some burgers. We started stocking up on burgers. We got some cherries. I always get the frozen fruit from there for my smoothies. Um, we started getting half gallons of milk because Ollie really doesn't drink milk as much as he drinks like ch chocolate milk, but we get it in like almond milk, so it's not too bad. Um, I always get my stock coffee, and instead of the Starbucks, um, they didn't have the one I normally get, so I ended up getting like the vanilla almond milk creamer. Hopefully that's good. Um, chicken fingers for Ollie, and then on, for non-food items, I got Ollie this t-shirt, got more of these Airwick fresh room fresheners and then the Febreze small rooms one small space ones honestly I really like the honeysuckle smell the scent so I bought these for the bathroom so that's the haul I also picked up bubbly for Anthony cherry coke and water so that will all be put downstairs I have to hurry up and get through this and put it away because it, honestly we've been out all day and I need to like get it in the fridge. Um, I will also say that we bought Ollie some little boxer briefs um, in Spider-Man. I have to wash them. Um, I got these in a size six because I feel like 
the fours are just way too tight um and i really don't think he likes the underwear so we're deciding to try out the boxers instead i got these from target um let me hurry up and put this stuff away and then i don't really know what we're doing i don't think i'm gonna go to my cousin's because she lives like 20 minutes away and it's just too much of a hassle to go all the way up there and then to do her hair so i'm just gonna try and figure it out on saturday with her um i need her to send me more pictures so i can kind of like figure out what i'm doing but like i said i still haven't figured out a dress i'm think i'm gonna like go to my computer and try and figure out what i can get um after i put all this away Okay, so I already finished bulbing everything. I'm putting it away right now. It's like 7.30. Um, I ended up not going to my cousin's house. I'm gonna hurry up and put Anthony's clothes away. Um, so yeah, it's been kind of hectic. I actually found two dresses off of Amazon and I found the shoes that I needed for Ali off of Amazon as well and hopefully it's here on time. Um, it's just really hard to find dresses in person, especially like now I'm like considered plus size. Um, so it's like really hard to find things. My mom told me to go to Boscov's and to be honest, I didn't find anything I liked and it smelled like old ladies. No offense to anybody who shops at Boscov's. Um, it was just not for me. So I ended up buying something off Amazon and hopefully, like I said, it fits. I'm honestly really nervous about this because I'm on a time crunch at this point. Um, so yeah, this kind of sucks. Uh, <laughs> for future notice, I will be buying things way, way, way in advance. Um, I kind of knew about this party for like maybe a couple months now, but I didn't think it was formal until like March. Um, so yeah, I'm... A little behind <laughs> on getting everything you know together Lily does Lily does have a dress I showed you guys that Anthony's pretty much wearing everything that he got for the wedding and I showed you guys Ali's outfit as well so that works out I'm sorry about me going up and down his basket is like right here and you guys are on his dresser so <laughs> I'm just trying to get everything put away real quick um yeah i did put all the food away but it was like honestly just like a rush i just shoved it in the fridge but i'm honestly thinking of um taking a few days off and like really working on organizing my house because i am like overwhelmed i think just because my house is like all over the place um i'm thinking of getting new storage units for ollie's toys and i think that will help with like the clutter dilemma in our living room because it is so so much in that corner and it's just kind of shoved in there at this point because there's nowhere to put it um we don't have good storage units good like we don't have a good we don't have a good system for his toys um and down the basement is like absolutely horrendous so we're thinking of getting a storage unit and using that to store all of my seasonal decor and all the baby items because they have taken over my basement. Like I have pretty much like two rooms in the basement. The back room is full of storage items and it's pretty much like all decor and baby items. Like one whole wall is baby items. <laughs> and I've kept everything from Ollie and from Ollie's newborn stage until now, like toys and everything. I haven't thrown pretty much anything out. So I have a lot of items that I kind of just need to like sift through and get rid of anything. I think he has collected like four bikes downstairs from people giving them to him. I just need to like donate and get rid of things and then put everything else into a storage unit because I want to either move my desk downstairs so I can actually stay focused or I want to shift all of the stuff downstairs, like all of our um, excess items and put it in the back um along with like 
storing all of our party items and stuff better than how it is because everything is literally just thrown back there. I can't walk back there. It's just a hot mess. So I kind of need to like figure that out. So Anthony and I are thinking of getting a storage unit and it's just easy to go grab what we need and then swap out every season. Same thing with like storing the air conditioners in there and stuff like that. So that gives us more space down the basement. Um, if you've done this, please let me know. Um, I live in Philly and this, it's like very tight in the houses. Like we don't have an attic, it's pretty much just the basement. Um, and I live in a 1300 square foot house um, but there's not many places to store things. Like our linen closet is very small. Our closets are small. Um, and Ali doesn't even have a closet in his room. Um, so it's very small in here. Um, and it seems very cluttered at the moment. So I kind of want to like get rid of some things. And I was even thinking of getting rid of all of my glassware. To be honest, I don't host parties. I want to do host things. It's usually paper plates. Like nobody wants to do dishes in my family. So it's not like China, like I need China to do that stuff. Um, so I was thinking of just getting like the 50 cent plastic plates and cups and bowls from Target because they're easy to clean because I've been using them nonstop for Ollie for like two years now. They're easy to clean, they're easy to stack and they're not like taking up as much room. And then they're not breakable <laughs> and they're easy to replace because they're 50 cents. Um, we bought the collection that we have now right before we moved in like two years ago and I originally started it out with like eight plates, eight cups, eight bowls, and eight like saucer plates. I think I have maybe five or six of each now. Everything is just broken or it's missing. Same thing with the silverware. It's just all over the place. So I'm just trying to figure out some options on like how to minimize all of the things in our kitchen because that is over overwhelmed as well and I really need to do something about the pantry area. I bought like the XO, OXO brand like pop it things but I didn't buy enough and they're like $200 for like 10 of them. Mind blowing how expensive they are. Um, but I don't like the fact that I'm going to like Mitch match them. So now I kind of feel like I have to buy them all together. <laughs> so I have to redo that as well. So if you have um, any container ideas or if you like a brand, uh, please leave them down below. I'll definitely check them out. Um, but this is like some things that I really need to get done along with my car. Um, I found a bowl of spaghetti under my seat like two days ago. And I don't know when that was put in there. It's gross. Um, so yeah, I just really need to clean my house. I feel like that's what's really like getting to me. Not only like not having the time, but I'm so overstimulated from my house being disgusting. Well, it's not disgusting. It's just overloaded. Um, that I just need a minute to, to do this. Um, if you would like to see that, my journey through organizing my house, please let me know because I'll definitely do that. Um, and the next room I'm basically like fixing up is Lily's room because she has changed everything around in there and it's very bland. So I kind of need to redo her bedroom. Did I get through everything on my list? Yes. Did I get through it the way that I was supposed to get through it? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really glad that I got through everything and I, the lighting is really bad in here. So I kind of feel like I should just, you know, hurry the heck up by putting all my, these away. Ollie will be going to sleep in the next like 10 minutes. Anthony's probably just going to bring him up and put him to sleep. And then I'm probably just going to edit this video because I am like all over the place. I'm sorry guys. I know like my videos are just kind of hectic at some points. <laughs> and today is that day. Um, so it's probably, this will actually be up tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know how the dresses work out. They should be here by the weekend and hopefully I can record. I didn't record on Mother's Day weekend because... We just went out to brunch with my mom in the morning and I'm not gonna record at brunch. And then I, what did we do? I went over to my mom's house because I really wanted to see my dad and brother. So we went there and just visited them. Um, and then after that I had a 40th birthday party. And then on Mother's Day, I literally just sat around. Like Anthony got me a coffee, he got me breakfast and I sat around absolutely all day until like maybe five o'clock and I like did a nice spruce of the house 
and then I just laid her on again. Um, he got me the Infinity Stone ring from Pandora, which I've already mentioned. And he got me No Way Home from Ollie. Ollie made me a card. Lily bought me a card. Mother's Day. Perfect. That's all I wanted. Um, so I didn't record Mother's Day because it was very bland and I didn't have enough footage to create a whole vlog. So that was Mother's Day. Um, and honestly, that's exactly what I wanted. It was to just sit around and do nothing. So let me know what you did for Mother's Day because I would love to know. I always feel like me as a mom, I like to run around for my mom. Um, but she has like stepped down from the holiday and given us the day to just relax also i'm like double whammied around this time because today is actually my mom's birthday she's 50 years old today um so we always celebrate my mom on mother's day for the last like six years because it's always around this time so yeah i'm going crazy <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I had to celebrate my mom today and celebrate my mom over the weekend and I just really wanted to spend time with her all day Saturday, which is what I did. I don't think I was away from my mom for maybe an hour all day Saturday. I met up with her at 10 o'clock and I didn't leave her when well, I left her about an hour in between and I didn't leave her until like maybe 11 o'clock. So I was with her pretty much all day and I really enjoyed spending that with her because like I said, she's 50 now, which is crazy. <laughs> to think my mom is actually young because I'm 28 um my mom is very young for her age and she looks young too so um if you've seen the 50th birthday party you already know that my mom is now 50 uh but yeah I'm like rambling at this point so I'm probably gonna end the video I'm finishing up I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below I answer every single comment I'll see you in the next video bye